this. Uh, there is something not quite right about the reluctance of the university to own its diploma and its records. Uh, that's all I can say. Um, but the judgment is still waiting to be delivered and we'll see what happens. Um, uh, of course, Nigerians who have become used to technicality or technicality, as a former Chief Justice called it, would want to see whether the judge is going to dispense with this on a technicality or whether the judge is going to engage substantively with the issues and if they do, how they come down. Um, but this has not been a, a fantastic advertisement for the university involved, not at all. But does it really matter if, if he graduated from there, if he got in as a female and graduated as a male, what what does what is the what is more what is important to Nigerians? Because people are saying let's move on. He's president, and and what is what? Why are we wasting time on this? I actually do do think it does matter that um, you know if in fact someone got admitted as a female and graduated as a male uh, without going through a process of gender transmogrification. Um, that clearly is, is, seems to me to be an issue deserving of attention. And you see, we fixate too much on institutional truth. Truth actually is a multidimensional phenomenon, returning to our underlying thing about, um, about um, intellectual honesty. You know, institutional truth is not all there is to truth. Um, and institutional evidence is not all there is to evidence. The fact that there are things that a court chooses not to admit in evidence does not mean those things are not factual. The fact that a, court, a Nigerian court chooses to walk from answer to question does not mean walking from question to answer becomes a bad way to do things. And, and I do think we've got to be careful about the idea, those who are saying, oh, you know, Tinubu is now president, you know, let's get the hell out of these things and let's move on. I think they've got to be careful about that. Um, you know, we, are, we find ourselves before courts of law. We find ourselves before um, courts of public opinion. But more than any other thing, we're also before the courts of posterity. And these three courts sit contemporaneously. As a matter of fact, the first court to wind down is the court of law. It's by no means the only court in this matter. There are two other courts whose, on, you know, whose juries may well be out and for a long time too. 